friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And my gift to you today is this video where I show you um, how I use my some of my favorite toys, uh, my gems and minerals. Oh, actually let me put some rings on here, I forgot those. You know, some good old diamonds and uh, tourmaline, you know, is good on my Mercury communication fingers. Um, so, um, for me, um, you know, gems and minerals have been always a great part. Uh, a nice, wonderful tool in my repertoire and um, it is about time that I pull them out and um, be more public about them. So uh, I'm going to show you, you know, some of my German windows uh, that I like uh, the most and uh, how I use them. And it's, uh, you know, very different than what most people uh, use their German and windows in the way I use them. Um, and uh, if you're an empath, you will be able to feel the different qualities as I will uh, project them from those uh, gems and minerals. And if you take your eyes out of focus uh, while looking at the video, um, you may even see, uh, you know, my aura change, but you probably need a bigger screen for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few of you, you know, will see colors uh, when your eyes are closed, you know, that are being projected. And I mean, a very few will have synesthesia, you know, where they are actually here <laughs> and um, kind of cross-reference their senses. So, well, uh, now you may say, uh, you know, um, Wolfgang makes past life regressions and does breathwork, what the hell? Does he know about gems and minerals? Well, um, I have been using uh, crystal wands and minerals for over 30 years. Uh, you know, I commissioned my first uh, crystal wand, you know, from Ishani, <laughs> uh, which is my wife now. And uh, so for many years, you know, I sold these wands and also her crowns, you know, at um, new Age shows in major cities, you know, around the United States, you know, in New York City, uh, L.A., San Francisco, Columbus, you know. Uh, you know, and I would, of course, also in Tucson, biggest German mineral show in the world, uh, in the New Age section, you know, we had our booth there, and I would give demonstrations. And um, so uh, I always got a kick out, you know, in any of the shows, you know, how I blew the minds of the security guards, for instance. So, I mean, you know, security guards is a certain type of people. And when they saw me fiddling around with the wand, initially, you know, they thought I was one of the greatest nutcases around there. <laughs> And then when they watched me, you know, over a weekend, so in the end, you know, they would always kind of politely bow <laughs> in the past. <laughs> because, you know, they had seen too much, you know, they had seen how people change, how they get affected, you know, completely changed their mind. So I always enjoyed that. Um, so, um, first of all, when we have um, crystals, when we have bought them, you know, they have to be purified. <clears throat> Very important. You know, all these uh, gems, actually every substance, um, it, uh, you know, that gets um, shipped around, you know, picks up thought forms, but especially minerals. Um, so, you know, they have been mined, many of them have been dynamite mined, uh, they have been rough handled, um, you know, the humans handling them had uh, not always very positive emotions. And um, so that is why 
um, plan plus all the sales people you know there is money you know involved there's risk involved there's very hard labor you know carrying all those boxes and shows that you know really gets into your bag so a lot of those guys are hurting mm -hmm. so all these things you know are stored and you know with this crystal and you know it's just like when you you know have been camping for a week and you know out in the woods and uh you know you might uh, need a bath <laughs> and you get home and so the same you know with these here yeah. so uh you know easiest probably for you to just you know sit them under running water and let water run over it maybe expose it also to the sun and moonlight um personally um you know this is all way too involved for me uh, you know, I have so much stuff and I use them all the time. So, and I clear them all the time. You know, this is, these are my instruments. They have to be clean like a surgeon's tool. And so, I use, you know, the symbol of the platonic solids here. Mm -hmm. So, this is built onto the platonic solids and this is basically a psionic machine. Uh, I have a whole video on that. Uh, but I just place uh, my crystals, my gems, and pretty much all of my everything I own, you know, onto this, and it will clear the vibration, and it's real easy. And I have to say, I've been around <laughs> in all kinds of shows, New Age shows, and checked it out. You know, this symbol beats the flower of life, you know, big time big time i mean a flower of life is nice at refining things but it doesn't clear like this so but you can try out for yourself i mean this is not because wolfgang said so you know find out for yourself so uh yeah before you connect you know emotionally with <laughs> any of your crystals i strongly pure you know ask you know recommend that you purify them and so uh, generally I just put them onto the center for five minutes and that's it. You know, if you have like a statue made out of brass, uh, this can take several hours. But again, you know, I refer you to the video. So um, another thing, you know, if you don't want to go for the symbol, you know, brown rice is really nice, you know, into a bowl of brown rice. But if you have substantial pieces, <laughs> You know, like this, uh, you know, uh, you might need a lot of rice, you know, and then I don't know if there was a lot of bad energy in this, you know, if you just feed this, you know, anybody eats it, it's not so good, right? Uh, so I really recommend, you know, the, uh, the symbol, very practical, you know, not much entanglement. Um, so, and uh, of course, um, you know, uh, now in this video, I will show you, you know, the vibrations of this, you know, gems and crystals. And so you will be opening yourself up. So we will ask, you know, for protection, you know, very important. And also, um, you know, anytime, you know, you connect with other energy, you should always ask for protection and guidance. Right. And um, then also, uh, you know, um, because this is all very high vibrational, you know, energy, um, you also have to be in a high vibration, um, just, you know, so it affects you, you know, it's by resonance, you know, when you are in a low vibration, you know, you cannot perceive the higher vibration realm. You know, if you're in a higher vibration, yeah, you can perceive the lower vibration realm, but not vice versa. So uh, that's why, you know, we have to go through a little exercise, you know, to raise your vibration fast. Uh, so otherwise you just think I'm a complete nutcase <laughs> because nothing is happening for you. All right. So, um, so just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, connect to our, we ask, absolute source of everything, you know, the supreme being of everything. This would be... Mahavishnu for the Hindus, mm -hmm. for the Christians, yes, you know, absolute source. You know, we ask that 
you know, whatever happens, you know, with our work, with the crystals and with the minerals, uh, will always be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, or say who, or so be it, or yes, mm -hmm. and smile, you know, we are requesting from source, so be polite, mm -hmm. and with a smile you actually open to their love. Yes. And now uh, we ask that any overlays, you know, from other beings like cords or parasites, or oh, just negative energies from other people or even technologies, you know, that should not be with us, you know, that are not from us and are not helping us, that they please be cleared right now. Amen. So smile. Mm -hmm. And in your mind, imagine that you're drawing love from the Earth Mother into your heart. And send your love then back into the Earth Mother. That is important. That you learn how to send and receive energy. And please smile. And breathe as as let as you can, but you know, smile as sweetly as you can. You know, strength and sweetness combined. Yeah, it's possible. It's better than weak and sweet. Believe me. All right. So if you're doing this right, you're getting quite a little buzz and you're tingling around your shoulders and spine. Uh, that is the sign that you're running more chi. You know? <laughs> and this is what happens when you start grounding properly. Uh, so let us connect now to the heavens and um, put your uh, tongue to the palate. And then push this earth love, you know, up into your crown, into your higher dimensional chakras, you know, above your head. Okay. And initially, um, you will just be using your breath like a leaf blower, you know, clearing out, you know, all the junk that has accumulated in your chakras. So down here, start doing the Zen thing and uh, barely breathing. No, uh, that's not the time right now. You know, right now is cleanup time. <laughs> Get all those pizza boxes and other junk you, you forgot to clear in your daily meditation, you know, out of your energy system. That's the idea here. Mm -hmm. So keep on breathing. And now we asked our spirit guides, our most beloved from high up, mm -hmm, that are in alignment with source, this love and light of source, to pour a lot of love and nourishment into our force field, into our being, and clear out anything that they think shouldn't be there now. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, and just pull their love in on the inhale, and then you send your love up and smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. So it's nice and sweet. Excellent. And now you ask that all these emotions and you know, projections from other people like gossip, racist, racism, traffic, anger, you know, envy, jealousy, all that stuff be taken off us right now. You know, there's no reason to keep carrying this with us. Amen. Mm -hmm. and keep smiling and it should be kicking in now, you know, feeling a little woozy, like ah, this kind of elevated <laughs> feeling. Ah, that's a sign. It's working. Just keep on smiling. All right. And now start pulling the love from the heavens as well as from the earth simultaneously into your heart. Mm -hmm. 
And then on your exhale, expand it in your heart. Very good. Uh -huh. And you probably feel, you know, just make sure you smile. And the sweeter you smile, the more radiance you will feel into your heart. And now we're getting right into it. Just keep pumping heaven and earth into the heart. And if there are, we asked you, our angels, you know, um, to clear any resistances that are there towards pumping, you know, the love from heaven and through us. <laughs> any resistances, any curses, vows, or technologies that prevent us from that. Also any wounds or broken heart. Yes? Now, amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Good. And now I will uh, show you my <laughs> first little sweetheart. So uh, this is a tourmaline here uh, with some uh, calcite and it also has some pyrite in it. Uh, so we have like a, a black and white and the specific, uh, you know, the special signature of the tourmaline is are those parallel lines that are like glass fiber. And so, um, you know, they actually work like this also. Um, probably in the arsenal that I have, I consider this here, you know, the best vacuum cleaner for dark cheap. <laughs> and um, so, of course, I have a substantial piece here. And so let's see, you know, if you can feel it. So I will just, uh, you know, ask that it pulls, you know, from you any negativity that your high self doesn't want anymore and we send it to, to source or the transmuting, you know, divine beings um, to have this transmuted and cleared from you now. Mm -hmm. So give permission. And now we also ask the an angel of the overshadowing intelligence of the tourmaline to please now start, you know, channeling all this darkness that's still with us, you know, out of us. Mm -hmm. And just smile and keep pumping love from heaven and earth into your heart. And so if you're empaths, you're probably also feeling my force field. So I'm going to purify myself. So I'm just going to run this up my chakras slowly. Mm -hmm. And you probably will feel how uh, it feels good, uh, especially up here. Mm -hmm. How my vibration is kind of raising because all the dark stuff is kind of getting pulled down. And of course, just like with any vacuum cleaner, the more you vacuum, <laughs> the more stuff you get out, and then, you know, there's a point of you know, diminished returns. But So you probably even as an empath feel this in you, That's about the heart, you know, definitely very, very nice, major spot. And now if you use tourmaline, I also do the liver, you know, that's where the anger is stored, but make sure it's getting transmuted and doesn't float in your room. <laughs> Not a good idea, you know. If you do that as a healer, you know, make sure you sage afterwards and have your window open. Mm -hmm. Make sure that dark chi can get out. Yeah. All right, and uh, so this is just a quick demonstration. And let's just, yeah, let's just do a clearing on you here. So I'm going up front, just imagine this, smile like an idiot, so this works. We thank you. Thank you so much. And actually, I'm going to put this now onto the, the symbol so it can be mm -hmm. So uh, another variation of um, this tourmaline is the selenite. Again, it's built like, you know, fiber optics. 
and it's also good at pulling out stuff but you know in my estimate you know i prefer tourmaline <laughs> you know this is kind of more like a finer polish you know and you do the rough stuff the heavy duty stuff you know with the tourmaline But these are actually good, you know, to flush the spine. So because, um, so I imagine now when I breathe into it, so that this goes, you know, straight up your spine. So just watch this smile. Now this is um, pretty good for this, but now let's check this up. All right. So this here is a Denverite. So Denverite, you know, they have a very clear, you know, they're very brilliant, very sharp. They have very clear edges. And they're kind of like a Herkama diamond, the way they feel like, but they are shoot. You know, Herkamas are compact. And these are like, you know, these go into long. So these are like a lens that punches through. I'm just going to do this through your spine so you can feel it by itself. So then I just project it onto you. So they're really like, like a big force field. So let's put those together. <laughs> so now you get something much more substantial. They work together much more harmoniously. It's much more pleasant. So I call this principle, you know, putting two together, piggy bagging. So now here, I'm having, you know, a crystalline form of angel light. So, you know, due to the light blue color, you know, it's kind of good for the upper areas, you know, and because of the pastel color, it's going to be like a soothing, you know, mellow feel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to piggyback this now, you know, with this here. <laughs> And let's try this one out, how this feels. Mm -hmm. You know, so the angel light makes it a whole lot sweeter and, you know, fluffier, you know, in the upper body. So let's just uh, ditch these two guys. Thank you so much. And I'm going to put this also onto the symbol. And so let's uh, play around with angel lights and so and the likes. <laughs> so uh, now we're getting into the more fun part. And... So we noticed that angelite, you know, is quite sweet. So the even sweeter brother is, or sister is, this is amorphous, you know, and this is more crystalline. So amorphous is also kind of sweeter, more diffused. Mm -hmm. So I kind of combine those now. And uh, now I add, you know, lapis, the royal color, you know, good for the crown chakra, the third eye. So let's see how this works. Mm -hmm. So what I do <laughs> to explain this, so I pull a love from heaven and earth into my heart. And then on the exhale, I send this through my arms and of course also straight from the heart chakra, you know, into this combination. 
so this is uh, probably news for most of you. Mm -hmm. So the way I, you know, I see those little uh, guys, those minerals, as transistors. Uh, you know, uh, with a transistor, uh, or like a gel in front of, you know, a big floodlight. So you put in that gel in front, and everything that comes through, all the chi that I project into it, you know, takes this coloration on. Mm -hmm. So just sitting, letting the gel sit around just by itself, you know, doesn't do much, but it gets really effective and you throw the light through it. So in the same way, you know, I throw my chi or the chi that I get from heaven and earth, you know, I don't have that much personal chi. <laughs> I'm more like a corporation. I use other people's <laughs> chi, you know, from heaven and earth and from source. So, um, and... So anyhow, you know, when you run, you know, this chi into those stones, they just give off, you know, their vibration and it gets super amplified. So this is the wonderful thing. So they really become active, you know, when, you know, you as a Qigong practitioner, as a yogi or somebody that has a lot of life force, you know, interacts with them. You know, and of course, the best way is breath, you know, and the best method is love. That's why I smile. And so, uh, so let, let's just check out, you know, how this works. And so, yeah, sorry. Uh, so then once, you know, you pump, you know, your love into it, it modifies your own chakras, your own energy system. Yeah. You know, so the more blue you know, you get in there, the more it enhances that, you know, if you're cold, you know, and you do red, yeah, you know, it's going to activate you and get you warmer. So this is how that works in principle. <coughs> so let's just go for the blues here. So next, uh, we add, you know, the really good stuff. This is, you know, rose quartz. And this is not only straight rose quartz, this is also called strawberry rose quartz. And if you would polish this into a cabochon, it would project a holographic cross onto it, just like you would have in a star ruby, for instance, or in corundum. So, uh, this is kind of really fine quality, and so I'm going to add this to my bundle. Mm -hmm. And so this should kind of open the heart energy, so let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Now there's the heart energy kicking in. So let's just, you know, ditch the blue ones here. <laughs> and I get a new one here. So this is a, a fantastic stone. I just got this recently. And it's called a phosphosiderite. A phosphor, a phosphor, you know, like phosphor, phosphosiderite. And, um, well, um, you will see. So I'm going to pair this here with my uh, rose quartz and just breathe into it. And now smile. You got to smile to feel this. Mm -hmm.
yeah, I'm starting to space out. I just want to be there. But let's just keep playing around. Let's jack this up. <laughs> so this is one of my favorites. And this is Fennekind. And this is considered one of the highest vibrational stones. You can have. You know, I mean, this stuff is not cheap, and uh, but it just really boosts the vibration. You got to be careful, you know, if you have one of those, and you carry this, um, most likely you're gonna get headaches because you, if the vibration is so high, it's just you're gonna purify so much, so you're gonna get toxic, you know, from all the stuff you're dumping out. Uh, so you know, <laughs> to able to carry those, uh, you know, you have to be really high vibration. You know, otherwise it's just too much. Just like diamonds, you know. Diamonds are such big amplifiers. Uh, you know, thought amplifiers. So if you have negative thoughts, you know, you're going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> because they get amplified. Not a good idea. Because, you know, whatever you send out, you know, you also, you know, comes back to you. Or you, if you're angry, you're, you know, you're already toxic yourself. So let's just uh, check this out, how this works together. So I'm holding them here and <laughs> and also, um, you know, my breath work will cut out. Uh, there's this uh, noise suppression here and it just cuts out breath. Sorry, you know, my place is very noisy and, you know, here we go. So. Alright, again, super sweet, uh, a little bit more on the higher vibration. Now this here, uh, this, you know, sweet little greenish thing that is, you know, a zeolite. So this uh, grow in a volcanic water pockets, you know, in the area of Pune in India. There's a plateau there, I think 80 miles or kilometers long. And so I uh, add this here, it's super sweet. So let's see how they're vibing together. Or let me just wipe this by itself. And which is probably gonna be kind of a downer but <laughs> compared to before. But so you get the purity of it. Now we're gonna add the strawberry. All right, so much for that. And now uh, let me introduce another sweetheart. Uh, this is a Herkama diamond. Um, um, you know, there is a area around New York City uh, that's called Herkam, and they are found there. Um, New York is, you know, has this really hard rock formation. That's why you can build those skyscrapers there. And uh, you know, this is a type of mineral that's there in those cracks that grows in those cracks, and that is one of the reasons why there is so much life force in New York. You know? And of course, that's why New York is such a successful big city. So these are generally record keepers, but uh, you know, also awfully sweet. And so uh, let me just uh, have this and pair this with my phenakite, you know, to jack it up. And well, <laughs> 
the row squats wants to be part of this. All right. And smile so you can feel it. Here I come my diamond, y'all. Mm -hmm. And now, I may introduce you to my little friends, those Bojai stones. Uh, so these are uh, kind of a special edition. Uh, when you look at them, uh, you know, you probably see they have kind of a UFO type shape and they're actually uh, very heavy um, there is a lot of metal in there and you know one of them see it has this rough formation whereas the other one is smooth on the surface so this rough one is considered a male and this one is considered a female and they represent the male and female energies <laughs> now from the coloration you can see like a slide metallic rainbowy color and this is due to it being coated with titanium you know, has been steamed over it and so uh, I spent about three hours in the lady that sells them exclusively I went through all her stuff and I found these to be the most powerful <laughs> so what I do is I Put them in my palm chakras. Mm -hmm. And now um, I will just take the love from heaven and earth and run it into them. And so it's going to do something with a male left and right side. You know, male, female balance. So just smile and see how this resonates with you. So I think uh, you got to ground you guys out now, and well, um, what do we have here for grounding? So this is a garnet, you know, uh, pretty much in an ideal shape, you know, the matrix, uh, parallels, mm -hmm. and uh, let's combine this, this uh, obsidian. <laughs> Uh, this is, as you can see from the shimmer here, this is this normal obsidian. And uh, there are varieties of obsidian. Um, let's see, where is my... Str well, it's hiding. So <laughs> let's just uh, use the obsidian ball. You know, bigger is better, I guess. And let's get uh, grounded. And so obsidian actually, you know, helps you, uh, you know, discover the secrets, the suppressed stuff. 
in world and and you know uh, uh, garnet you know in its yellow or orangey form of course you know, your second chakra so it's a good way you know to ground out so pull love from heaven and earth into your heart and ascend it into the stones And ask the overshadowing intelligence, the devas, or kachinas, depending on the culture, to please, you know, do all the all perfect corrections that are necessary for my optimal function as a light being, to balance my energies, to ground me back into my body, And to remove any sabotage and energies that do not help me anymore. Amen, amen, amen. Just clear that away from me. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And just open the... Any plugs that you have in your root chakras. And just let the energy flow out. All the stuff you don't need anymore. To be replaced by love and light. Okay, we are done. Mm -hmm. So we thank all the beings that helped out, and we ask that any courts that they inappropriate be disconnected. There will be no vampiristic relationship between you and me in any way. And uh, keep smiling like an idiot. <laughs> if you responded well to this, oh uh, well, you know, I use wands and I can teach you a lot of things. You know, this is just part of alchemy, so to say. There are many, many facets. And so um, I'm available for private sessions. Um, you know, watch my other videos, you know, give the thumbs up and subscribe, you know, make sure that I, you know, be visible to people for your benefit, so the vibration on this planet goes up, if you really need it. I love you, long time. <laughs>